headquarters. CMDF, Combined Miniature Defense Force. Project Fantastic Voyage. Process Miniaturization. Authority, top secret, highest clearance. Team, Jonathan Kidd, Commander. Guru, Master of Mysterious Powers. Erica Lane, Doctor, Biologist. Busby Birdwell, Scientist, Inventor, Builder of the Voyager. Mission, in their miniaturized form, to combat the unseen, unsuspected enemies of freedom. Time limit, 12 hours. Watch closely, gentlemen. A pirate ship? Yes, but a very special kind. As you can see, gentlemen, our Navy has been tracking this ship, but watch what happens. It's disappearing. Now, look at this, gentlemen. A snowstorm that leaves no trace of snow on the ground. A mysterious cube in the desert of Central Asia, which, when activated, reduces a radar guidance system 12,000 miles away to complete ruin. These strange happenings are taking place all over the world. These dangers could be deadly to all mankind. We must find a way to solve them by transforming a team of human beings into a size so small that they could not even be seen under a microscope and send them inside these incredible happenings to discover the mysterious causes. Gentlemen, this will be the beginning of a most fantastic voyage. So that's the miniaturization machine, Professor Carter. But will it work? You're darn right it will, uh, sir. I hope Busby's right. It's never been done before, you know. Has the computer suggested a team yet? It's ready now, sir. All right, Busby. First, we ask for a leader. A man whose record shows that he's strong, courageous, and can handle himself in a dangerous situation. Commander Jonathan Keith. We picked him up on our radar camera, sir. He seems to be in the middle of his latest mission. Wind 17 knots north, northeast. Prepare to jump. Jump. Come in, patrol. This is Kid. Mission accomplished. Any trouble? A few saw ribs. That's all. Good. I've got no orders for you. You're to report to CMDF headquarters at once. Top secret. CMDF? What's that? You'll find out soon enough. Who's next, Professor? An old friend of mine, sir. The world's greatest expert on the mysterious and unexplainable. A man who understands the powers of magic and illusion far beyond any other human being. Hmm, Guru. Guru! You have been chosen out of all mankind to receive the secrets of the spirit world. You alone shall be the master of the mysterious, the occult, the ghostly, and the unknown. You must promise that you will use your knowledge 
to fight the evil forces of the earth. You must protect mankind against them. I promise it. Good. Now I must depart. Use your powers wisely. Farewell, my master. <laughs> Guru would have been the perfect man. Unfortunately, he's retired to an unknown and unreachable monastery somewhere in the Himalayas. He can't be contacted from the outside. Well, if you ask me, it's no loss. I don't believe in magic. I'm turning him off. <laughs> Professor, he's still there. Guru, uh, is that is that you? The call of a friend overcomes any barrier, Professor Carter. I have heard you. I shall come. We have two members. Are there any more, Professor? Yes. A medical expert and biologist, Erica Lane. A woman? You said it, sir. Get my instruments. Hurry. What happened, Captain? Meteorite shower. I forgot to duck fast enough. Relax now. We'll have you out in no time. The capsule's all smashed in. It'll take hours to free his legs. He's got to be operated on immediately. You'll have to do it from there. Set a table up here. Get my gloves. I wish you fellows would find bigger ships to fly around in. Will he be all right? As good as new, once you get him out. Erica Lane. Message for Erica Lane. Return to Earth immediately. New assignment. There goes my beauty sleep. We have a capsule ready, ma'am. You'll have to fly it yourself. We can't spare a pilot. <laughs> it won't be the first time. Don't worry. <laughs> Now we need an engineer, but he also has to be a physicist, and a pilot, and a mechanic. It seems there's no such person. Well, we'll worry about that after the others get here. Combined miniature detection force? <laughs> I still don't get it. You will, Commander. This way, Miss Lane. This is Commander Kidd, Erica Lane. Hi. And I am Guru. We can begin now. This is the miniaturization machine. It can reduce human beings to the size of a pinpoint with no ill effects, <laughs> we hope. This baby's your ship. She'll go anywhere. She flies, she swims, she rides like a dream. And I ought to know. I built her myself without any magic tricks. What's her name? I don't know. I never thought of that. Then I hereby christen thee Voyager. How long will we stay small? We don't know until we try it. You mean we could start to grow larger any time, no matter where we are? Unfortunately, that is correct. The time has come. In a few moments, the machine will be turned on. After you are miniaturized, you will be placed by radio beam into a drop of ocean water. Your assignment is to take Busby's ship on a test mission to see if human beings can survive in a miniature world. Any questions? One, sir. Who's going to pilot the ship? The fourth member, Busby Birdwell. What? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, please come, Busby. We need you. Well, I... Do not be afraid, little one. What? Me afraid? I'm not afraid. No half-baked witch doctor in a turban can call me afraid. <laughs> Good. Get in place. Yes, sir. Good luck. Set miniaturization dial at microscopic. Activate process.
excellent. Start clock. Well, sir, we're on our way. Yes. Now let's hope we can safely find the way back. Well, so far so good. But not very far yet, Mr. Kidd. How are you feeling, Busby? Small. Now I know how an ant feels. Prepare for insertion. Here comes the radio beam. I always wanted to be on the radio, but not this one. There's the water. One drop, and it's like an ocean. Say, aren't we going awfully fast? Yeah, but I can't slow it down. Oh. Everyone all right? Fortunately, yes. Seems our first test was nearly our last. <laughs> That's no joke. Okay, take her down, Busby. It's incredible. All this inside a single drop of water. There are many worlds, Miss Lane. The world of human beings is only one. Other worlds. What baloney. Hey, look. My gosh. Is that one of your other worlds, Guru? It ups. It's fading away. Or perhaps it was only a mirage. Over there, there's something else. I must be seeing things. Follow it, Busby. Aye, aye, sir. This is like chasing smoke. There it is, down there. Bubbles. It's an air-breathing civilization. That proves this time it's no illusion, Guru. There is an old saying, Miss Lane. The only certainty is that nothing is certain. Well, I think this is. After it, Busby. They must have gone this way. There's a turn up there. It's a dead end. And there's no island. That's impossible. It must be here. Well, it ain't. We just went on a wild mermaid chase, that's all. All this unscientific baloney about other worlds had us fooled for a second. Perhaps we can continue our mission now, Mr. Kidd. Scientists are often fools when they fail to understand something. Yeah, but I still don't get it. Nine hours. No sign of the effect wearing off yet. Have you been in touch with them? Yes, sir. Every hour. And we check the meters every few minutes. Very carefully. Look out! Too banged up to tell anymore. It stopped. Man, I wonder if that was part of the test. Wait, something is still wrong. The ship's drifting. Fuck me. He's out cold. Uh oh. Look out! Must 
he's got to repair it. I'm afraid he's really out. We'll just have to wait until he wakes up. We cannot wait. Hey, the plant's moving. You see, it is not a plant. It is a living creature. And in its mind, I see our destruction. It will trap us, smother us. We will be crushed. There is no escape unless we act immediately. What can we do? We must attack its mind, its nerve center. Quickly, Mr. Kidd. I will guide you telepathically to exactly what I say. Now go. There he is. Mr. Kidd, swing to the left. He's doing it. He hears you. There will be a passage. The spines are poisonous. Be careful. You are nearing the cortex. Now, proceed. Wait! Look out! Quickly! Through that hole! That is the nerve center. You must find the antennae. Hurry! Oh, Ed, what happened? Busby, on your feet. You've got to fix the motor. Huh? The motor? Good. No return. At once. Oh, Mr. Keat. Straight up. Put your arm. Your arm. <laughs> Hoist. Must get back. Courage, Mr. King. A little further. He is in your hands now, Miss Lane. The effect is weakening. Come in. Attention. The miniaturization effect is fading. You must return at once. We can't return until I stop this poison. But none of these medicines work. Wait a second. There might be one way. Attention, Voyager! You must return at once! Repeat at once! There. Uh, you better work now. Lane? Yes. It's known to contain a natural antitoxin. At least it works for the witch doctors of Borneo. Just hope it works for us. CMDF is in business. Yes. And your next mission, whenever it comes, will be the real thing. We're ready for anything, sir. Good. Because the greatest mysteries of the Earth are waiting for you.